All right, another GMS on the go lesson, GMS North Carolina 24. Hey, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Waha Rakar Kodash. Double honors to the head of apostles and elders of great millstone, the ones that taught us the truth according to the Bible. Peace and blessing to all you sincere Akims, man, pushing this Bible week in and week out to the best of your ability, regardless of people here for a bear, right? You see the name of the video. The Lord, you have by Shimei Abishai is killing people left and right, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, you're going to learn. You will learn to fear you have by Shimei Abishai. Matter of fact, but, um, give me, um, give me what is it, um, Sarah 5 and 7. Mm -hmm. Give me that first, bro. Mm -hmm. You have by Shimei Abishai is killing Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and these heathens left and right, man. Non-stop killing. Every day you wake up, you have by Shimei Abishai to kill somebody, man. But y'all think the God of the Bible is all about love. Well, you will learn, man. You're going to learn. You Nick Rose Latinos and Native American Indians, you're going to learn to fear you have by Shimei Shai. You're going to learn to stop playing around with our power, man. You're going to learn, man. And then, bro, you hold me on um, Hebrews 10 and 31. Read that, bro. Mm -hmm. This is Sirach, chapter two, 5, verse 7. Right. Take your time, bro. Mm -hmm. Make no tarrying. Right. To turn to the Lord. You have by Shimei Abishai is giving you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians a chance to repent, man. Okay? The scriptures say, make no tarrying, man. Okay? Y'all taking all day, because why? Y'all think y'all got all day to turn back to your how by Shimei Abishai. But you don't, man. You don't, man. Okay? Read it again, bro. Mm -hmm. It says, Sirach, chapter 5, verse 7. Right. Make no tarrying. Right. To turn to the Lord. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, and put not off from day to day. And that's what our people do. They take the words of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah lightly, man, and they put it off from day to day. They think they got next week, next year, five, ten years from now, fifty years from now to seek Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. But no, it don't go down like that. Um, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah to the elder, man. You know, um, the elder I not, man. You know, Shalom, Shalom. You know, <laughs> make no terror. Don't put it off from day to day, man. Because guess what? Yeah, that's how a dude, you know what I'm saying, used to ride past us um, teaching right out here in front of the crib or whatever, doing sit-down lessons. Oh, yeah, I'm going to come back and I'm going to listen one day. Well, his one day, you know what I'm saying, ain't coming no more. Because you know how about Shemel him had him get blasted down the other night, man. So it ain't no coming by listening to the words you have about Shemel Rashad no more for him, man. You know, you have about Shemel Rashad had him get gunned down the other night, man. You know, so there is a such thing as too damn late, man. And the two-thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, y'all going to run right into too damn late. Y'all going to run right into them, man. They're going to meet them, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All you scoffers, all you mockers, you have a bunch of y'all shots killing people left and right. And, but the only thing y'all think about doing is mocking and scoffing, man. When you have a bunch of y'all shots, you can't see what's going on in the news. What, yesterday, you know what you had a school shooting in Florida? That's nothing, man. 16, 17 people, that ain't nothing. You have a bunch of shots about to kill thousands, man. And millions of people, man. And it, and he's gonna put fear in everybody, man. So read it again. Mm -hmm. This is Sirach, chapter 5, verse 7. Right. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Right. And put not off from day to day. See, that's the power that our people need to be turning back to. Not Buddha, not Allah, not Santa Maria. Not the Hindu God of Shiva, not um, the so-called white Jesus Christ, a.k.a. Serapis. You need to turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's who you need to fear. Go ahead. For suddenly shall the wrath... Because first, like your brokers, the first thing our people say when they see us starting off with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and the men on down, the first thing they say when they see us is y'all going to be out here next weekend. So they're putting it off for, for another day. Mm -hmm. You know, instead of, saying, instead of staying there for an hour or two or until the camp closed, Oh, y'all going to be out here next weekend? I ain't got time for it right now. You know what I'm saying? I got to go do something. I got to go get a Valentine's Day present, so forth <laughs> and so on. So they put the Lord off, man. They put the cast of the Lord to the side, man. And that's something you shouldn't be doing, man. Don't put it off from day to day. Why, bro? For suddenly right. shall the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, come forth. And, and when something happens suddenly, it catches you off guard. You know? Like if you just standing beside somebody and that's ain't no, they just sucker punch, you know what I'm saying? That's ain't no. You on the ground. Why? Because they caught you off guard. You wasn't ready for it. You have a bunch of getting us ready 
for the times to come. They're bad, the evil days to come. But two thirds, they they um they putting it off for another day. You know? Oh y'all get the words of the Lord next week next weekend when y'all come out here, man. Okay? Mm. I come out then I stand out for the for like five minutes. Mm. I only got a sound bite, but next next week I give y'all twenty minutes. That, that ain't nothing to the Lord. The Lord wants you to fear him and get in tune with his word, man. Go ahead. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed. Because that's what's coming, wrath. Wrath is coming from your house by Shem Yahushua, not peace. Give me Ezekiel. Ezekiel 7 and 25 right quick, bro. And then you give me um, Thessalonians. Give me Thessalonians 5 and 3. 3, 5 and 3. Yeah, you give me Ezekiel 25, um, 7 and 25, bro. Bring yours first. This is Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 25. Right. Destruction coming. See, that's what's coming. You ain't seen nothing yet. You think these little kids, school kids getting killed? You know what I'm saying? And these different people getting killed, going off fighting in wars and all that? That ain't nothing. Death and destruction is coming. Not peace. Death and destruction is coming. All right? Shalom, Isaiah. Death and destruction is coming. He put up um, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Somebody hold that on deck. Finish what you got, bro. No, just hold what you got. Finish what you got. Come and get that, bro. Okay. Go this ahead. is Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 25. Right. Destruction coming. See, that's what's coming. Peace is not coming. Okay? Candy bars, you know what I'm saying? Juju beans, snicker bars, you know what I'm saying? Hugs and kisses. That's not what's coming, man. What, what's coming, bro? <laughs> destruction coming. That's what's coming. Death and destruction is coming. Go ahead. And they shall seek peace. See, everybody's seeking peace right about now. These kids got shot. Now everybody's talking about some America need to be more of a peaceful place. Peace ain't coming, man. What's coming, bro? Mm -hmm. They shall seek peace. What? And there shall be none. And there ain't gonna be none. No more peace is coming to America. America has seen its peaceful days, man. Okay? America's getting ready to see more death and destruction. That's the only thing America's gonna see, man. Until you how about Shimmy Abashai come and nuke this place from off the face of the earth, man. Okay? Other than that, America's not going to see any more peaceful days, man. Shalom to all the Akims tuning in. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushua, broke a thumb. Shalom. Hey, look, America, they are seen as peaceful, peaceful days, man. Only thing that's coming to America is death and destruction. You can bring that right quick, bro, that Thessalonians. Mm -hmm. This is 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 3. And then you hold me on um, St. Matthews 10 and 34. Go ahead. For when they shall say peace... And safety, right. then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Right. Whenever your government <laughs> leaders, the president, your uh, community leaders, these Baptist church pastors come to you and say everything is going to be all right. It's going to get peaceful here in America. We're going to reestablish order. Read it again, bro. Mm -hmm. This is First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. Right. For when they shall say peace and safety, right. then sudden destruction Coming upon them. And then, when soon as they tell you that everything's going to be peaceful, guess what? All hell going to break loose, man. And two-thirds of our people going to get caught smacking in the stats. Uh, what did they say, bro? Smack yeah, dead yeah, in the middle. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're going to get caught dead in the middle of it, man. You know? They're going to get caught in, uh, in a boat, you know what I'm saying, without a paddle. You know? They're going to get caught dead in it. Yeah, no. You know? Yeah. And, and that's what's coming. Death and destruction, man. Yeah, Amos 5 and 18. Mm -hmm. Somebody can hold that on deck. Shalom to the brother Kabad, you know what I'm saying? Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Brakatha. You know what I'm saying? Isaiah, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Brakatha. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Brakatha. Right. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. This is This is First Thessalonians chapter five verse three. Right. For when they shall say peace and safety. Right. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them. And 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 that's what Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is bringing. Death and destruction, man. Okay. Death and destruction. That's why you why you think you're seeing all these people die, man? Because you have Bashim Yahweh Shah said death and destruction is coming, man. You have Bashim Yahweh Shah to all the Akims tuning in, man. All the Akims, man. Shalom. 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 Um, brother, brothers got scriptures for days, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's, let's bring, bring it out. <laughs> bring it out. Let's bring it out, brothers. What y'all got? All right, I'm ready for it. Yeah, finish that off. As travail upon a woman with child. You see how a woman looks, you know what I'm saying, when she about to have that baby? It looks like she catching a pure hell, because she is, man. Okay? That's what that's what the day of the Lord consists of. It's going to be like a woman, you know what I'm saying, about to have a baby, man. Okay? A woman having a baby don't look like she's too excited. It don't look like it's peaceful times, man, when she's having that baby. It's a whole lot of hollers. You know what 
know what I'm saying? She about, look, about to go insane, about to have that baby. That's how these people going to be when all hell break loose, man. They going to go insane. They going to lose their mind. Why? Because they ain't got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. Which shall keep you stable, man. Which shall be the stability of that time. You know, the scripture said, make no tarrying to turn back to the Lord. But our people, they'd rather go celebrate Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, their birthday, Christmas, and all this other nonsense instead of seeking your how about Shemi was shot. And that's going to be the end of you, man. That's the end of that, bro. And they shall not escape. Right. And nobody ain't escaping the judgment of your how about Shemi was shot. When all hell break loose, ain't nobody escaping the judgments of your how about Shemi was shot except for the elect, man. And the one third, which consists of the men, women, and children, man, the true believers, everybody else gonna die to death, man, over here in America, man. What y'all what brothers got? Okay. You got that one um, Kabbalah called that Amos? I got the Amos and the Ecclesiastes. Bring that Amos right quick. Well, as a matter of fact, get the Ecclesiastes yeah. here. This is Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 1. Right. Remember now thy creator. In the days of thy youth. Right. All hell break loose. You see tons of people getting killed left and right. You're supposed to be seeking your how about Shemi Shot quick, fast, man. A matter of fact, hold that, bro. Give me um, give me Amos 5 and 4. Mm -hmm. Give me Amos 5 and 4 since you're already there. This is Amos chapter 5 verse 4. Because you're supposed to remember your creator before the evil days come, man. We're living in those evil days, you know? Evil days meaning bad times. The bad times are already here. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, guess what he's doing? He's just turning the heat up on it, you know? That's what Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is doing, turning the heat up. And you were still holding that Hebrews, mm -hmm. in Hebrews 10 and 31. Mm -hmm. read, read that, bro, and then we're going to get this Hebrews 10 and 31. Finish that Amos, mm -hmm. 5 and 4. This is Amos chapter 5, verse 4. Right. It should, it should like it, bro. It should be some type of urgency with you Nick Rose, Latinos, and Native American Indians seeking your power right about now, man. It should be a sense of, sense of urgency, man. Like, yo, I got to seek the Lord, man. Too many things are going on on the face of the earth right about now, man. I need to be seeking the Lord. But no, that don't even come into the minds of our people, man. They're too busy doing dope. You know what I'm saying? Smoking weed, committing adultery, eating pork. You know what I'm saying? You know, shrimp, fried rice, and all this other nonsense, man. They're too busy doing that nonsense instead of seeking your house by Shemiah was shy. Read, bro. This is Amos chapter 5, verse 4. Right. For thus... Said the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Bring it out. Into the house of Israel. Into the house of Israel, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. You're not black, man. You're not African American. You're not Latino. You're not Native American Indian. you the Hebrew Israelites, okay? Go ahead. Seek ye me. Right. And ye shall live. And if you're not seeking Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, you're going to be the next face that's on the news screen, man, that we're going to see, man. Lay it out like this. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Or laid out without your head on your face, your, your neck, man. You have about Shemel Shah been tired of playing with our people, man. Been tired. You think you think the Lord got the servants of the Lord out there, man, the prophets warning you each and every day to repent, to turn back? And it's going to continue on for the next 50 years? No, man. Things are about to go down here in America, man. It's about to go down. What did it say, bro? That's it on that? Yes. Yeah, Seek your how about Shemel Shah and live. But two thirds of our people, they don't want to live, man. That's why the Lord got these crackers blasting them the hell down. They ended up in car wrecks. They, they all kind of um, house fires, you know, getting hit by trucks. You name it, man. Struck by lightning. You have about Shemel Shah is giving it to our people, man. Yeah. And, and, and you don't want to be the next victim, man. So let's bring what you got, bro. This is Hebrew. Speak up some. This is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. Right. It is a fearful thing right. to fall into the hands of the living power. See, how people think when you have Bashim al Shai finally catch up to them, they're going to be playing footsie and all that. You know what I'm saying? That's what our people think. 17 people just got blasted the hell down in that school, man. That was the dealings of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, the God of the Bible, man. He kills and makes alive, man. Okay? It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Those spirits created for vengeance, they're out here, man. Sitting back in the cut, waiting to get, waiting on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to get in the order, man. And, and look, and look, did, did the Lord care about that chick right there that got killed because she was fine and all that? No. And I claim, well, you know what I'm saying, when she come back. The Lord didn't care nothing about that, man. They was whores, they was sluts. They weren't trying to take heed to the words of the Lord, so the Lord had to take them out. What good was they? Read it again, bro. This is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. Right, spirits created for vengeance. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, somebody give me 2 Corinthians um, 5 and 11, too. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It is a fearful thing. 
to fall into the hands of the living power. Right. See, our power lives. Buddha don't live. Allah don't live. Santa Maria, she don't live. The Hindu goddess Shiva, she don't live. Dagon, Baphomet, Molech, all them, they don't live, man. Our power is the living power, man. You have Bashimi, I was shy, man. So called black men. That's it on that. So get what you got, bro. Fin finish finish the Ecclesiastes. Yeah, finish that. Yeah. Yeah, finish that. Did you finish that? No, no, I'm finished. Yeah, that. finish that right quick. Then I got to This is Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 1. Right. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. You still holding Matthew, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Because you finished with that Hebrew, mm -hmm. so you can drop that. Remember thou now therefore thy creator in the days of thy youth. I, see, that's one thing about you Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, man. And you confusion of faces. You wait till you... You have about Shimmy Aushad, Braga thought. Look, you wait till you end up in the hospital, man. You know what I'm saying? On your deathbed. <laughs> Lord, <laughs> somebody hold me Isaiah 55 and 6, and we're going to read it down. That's what you hooked up to IVs and all that. And then you want to seek the Lord? No, seek the Lord in the days of thy youth. When you're at your full potential. When the Lord can still use you to go out there and push forth his word. That's when the Lord wants you, man. The Lord don't want you when you're like 80, 90 years old, hooked up to IVs in the hospital and all that nonsense. No. You have a Bashim Yahweh Shah want you in your youth, man, when they can really use you. An old person that's like 80, 90 can't really stand out there on the block, man, for like four, five hours, man. You know what I'm saying? Nine, ten hours, however long you plan on being out there on the streets. You know? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. It says, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Right. While the evil days come not. Right. Because bad times, we they're here. Bad times ain't coming. They're here, man. Okay? And you don't want to get caught up in the evil times that, that are here, man. Okay? Yeah. Yep. Um, somebody get Isaiah 45 and 7 right quick. Which was one of the scriptures we was going to pull anyway. But let's get that right quick. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 45 verse 7. Right. I form the light. Right. And create darkness. That's right. I make peace. If it's going to be peace, you want to know why it ain't no peace on the earth? Because Yahweh Bashim al don't want peace to come. When Yahweh Bashim al is ruling upon the earth and all wickedness is put under his foot, that's when it's going to be peace. When the Israelites are ruling, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are ruling again, that's when it's going to be peace. When Yahweh Bashim al is ruling again, that's when it's going to be peace. Yahweh Bashim al said, I make peace. So you can march your ass off all you want to. You know what I'm saying? Um, what does it say? Um, no justice, no peace. Right. You can walk around all day, you know what I'm saying, singing that tune. Yeah. But peace ain't going to come, you know what I'm saying, until you have Bashimi Awashah promote it, man. You have Bashimi Awashah brought a thought to the brother in Alaska, man. Go ahead. Isaiah chapter 40, 45, verse 7. Right. I formed the light right. and create darkness. That's right. I made peace right. and create evil. So the bad times, that you, you see all these people getting killed? These bad times that's going on? Guess who's doing it? Wars and rumors of wars? Yahweh Bashim al Shai is doing it, man. Okay? Yahweh Bashim al Shai saying if it's going to be peace, he's going to make it happen. If it's going to be evil, he's going to make it happen. We don't control nothing, man. That's why we're we doing what Yahweh Bashim al Shai commanded us to do. Cause, Cause our power controls everything, you know? Mm -hmm. That's it on that, bro. Just a little bit more. Go ahead. And I, Yahweh, do all these things. Right. So he just put a stamp on it. You don't want to know who's mm -hmm. controlling the things that's going on in the earth. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, the Lord do of all these things. That's right, bro. What you got, bro? Mm -hmm. Why did you get quick? Go ahead. This is our first Samuel, chapter 2, verse 6. Right. The Lord, Yahweh, it's like, the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, killeth. Right. And make it alive. So those people that got killed in the schools, the people you see getting killed before the school accident, guess who did that? Yahweh Bashim was shot, man. He said he killed him. See, everybody think it was the devil that killed those crackers, man, <laughs> and those other people in that school. Or anybody that died. Now, the devil did it. The devil killed my son. Why he killed my son? The God of the Bible killed your wicked ass son, man. All right? And your wicked ass daughter. That's who killed them, man. Yahweh Bashim was shot, did it. Read it again, bro. This is 1 Samuel, chapter 2, verse 6. Right. The Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, killeth. Right. And make it a lie. That's right. So, so if the people that did get shot in Florida, and they they made it to the hospital, and they lived, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, kept them alive, man. 
for a greater purpose. Ain't no telling um, what they really gonna die. The, the way they really gonna die, it ain't no telling, man. It gets worse. Yes, it do. It gets worse. It does. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you don't want to play around with the Lord, man. It's a, we, we just read in Hebrews 10 and 31, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. But guess what? Two-thirds still playing around. Still lollygagging. You know? Still acting an ass. The scriptures say don't get tattoos. They go out and get 20 more. You know? The scriptures say don't eat pork. They go get a whole pig and put it on the grill. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They, they, they stack their wickedness up to the ceiling, man. What you got, bro? What you got, any one of y'all? Oh, yeah. Okay. You ain't never finished that? No, nah, I ain't never finished that. Go ahead. It says... Always, well, make sure you finish that before you bring out the next scripture. Okay. Eh? It says, No, the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no... Those Latinos and Native American Indians that supposed to have been pushing the words of your how about The Lord going to say, No, nah, I don't need you no more. Now I'm going to bring death and destruction upon you. I don't need you no more. You, you going to wait till you end up in the hospital? Now you going to call on my name? No, I don't need you no more. You know, I needed you when, you when you was at your best potential. When you had a whole lot of energy to go out there and teach my word for hours upon hours. But now you all sickly. Now you, you finally calling on me? No, man. You should have heard when I called you to go do the word. But now it's too late, man. Um, bring me, um, what you got? You got something? Yeah, um, Amos 5 and 18. Right. And then you can hold me. You, you holding the that? Not yet. Well, hold me um, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Right. And hold me Sirach 11 and 14. Go ahead. And Amos 3 and 6. Let's bring those out. Let's get it, bro. Uh -huh. This is Amos chapter 5, verse 18. Right. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahabashem, Yahabashem. And woe means death and destruction. Woe unto you that desire, oh yeah, you know what I'm saying, those forest fires. Know what I'm saying? Those floods, all those people getting killed in those different uh, predicaments. You how about Shemiel Shah said, I'm doing it, man. I'm doing it. Read it again, bro. This is Amos chapter 5, verse 18. And then somebody, oh, after you read that, bro, give me Job 4 and 7. Because those people, oh, they died. They were so wonderful people. They ain't hurt nobody. Why did they, why did they have to die? We're going we're gonna to read that won't none of them innocent. All the people that died won't none of them innocent, man. They was doing wicked deeds. They weren't serving your how about Shimei Oshai in righteousness, man, in true sake, man. They weren't even serving the Lord, man. They were serving other gods, pagan gods that weren't real. Finish that, bro. It says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Oshai. Right. To what end is it for you? Everybody desiring for the Lord to hurry up and come when they wicked as hell, man. Why, why are you so happy? The Lord said he's bringing death and destruction, man. Okay. Hold that, bro. Get that Matthews, since you're already holding it. That 10 and 34. This is Matthews chapter 10, verse 34. Right. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. So everybody desiring, you know what I'm saying, the Lord to come. They want the Lord to come. Please come, Lord, help me, help me, help me. But you wicked as all hell, right? But the scripture said, war unto you that desire the day of the Lord, meaning death and destruction, right? Because the Lord said when he come back, he said, think not that I'm coming to bring peace on earth. What he bringing, bro? Matthew 10 and 34. Thank right. not that I come to send peace on earth. Right. I come not to send peace, but a sword. A sword, meaning death and destruction. That's what the Lord is bringing. Death and destruction, man. So woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, man. To what end is it for you? Why are you so happy? These church people, um, in the day of the Lord, in the day of the Lord. Look, when Jesus comes and all this nonsense, right? Just don't know when the Lord comes back, he's bringing death and destruction, man. Straight fire is coming, man. Go ahead. For I am come to sit. No, nah, that's it. The day of the Lord is darkness right. and not light. Right, the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Meaning your hopes and your dreams when the Lord come is gonna go down the drain, man. Okay? Your hopes and your dreams of making it big here in America, getting the mansions, you know what I'm saying? The final things in life, all that's gonna go down the drain when the Lord pop up on the scene. And before that, man, because martial law gonna pop off and the government, um, the troops and all that gonna take everything you got anyway and cash you into them concentration camps. So it's a done deal, man, before the Lord come. Go ahead. As if a man did flee. From a lion. Right. And a bear met him. Different situations you're going to be faced with. When all hell break loose. 
You're going to be faced with the famine. You're going to be faced with the race riot. You're going to be faced with the concentration camps. You know, you're going to be faced with cannibalism, you know, and many other things, man. You're going to be faced with all hell breaking loose, man. And it ain't nowhere to run and it ain't nowhere to hide because the Lord said none shall escape. You know, none shall escape. Go ahead. I went into the house. Right. And leaned his hand on the wall. Right. And a serpent bit him. So say like you do make it out of certain situations. Guess what? You have a shot got something waiting on you around the corner, man. You can't run and you can't hide from your how about Shimei was shot. There's no way. There ain't no way. What you got? Isaiah 13 9. Right. This is Isaiah chapter 30. Well, well bring me that um bring me that Job first. This Job 4 and 7. You should be holding it. This is, you got it? Yeah. This is Job chapter 4, verse 7. Right. Remember, I pray thee. Right. Whoever perished being innocent. So all those people that you have about Shimei was shot killed. At that school, and he's killing each and every day. Won't none of them innocent, man. They weren't serving Yahweh by Shimei was shot, man. They were serving the so-called white man. They were serving Allah. They were serving Buddha. They were serving they self, man. You know what I'm saying? They was worshiping they wife. Things of that nature. So they ain't died innocent, man. Whoever perished being innocent. Mm -hmm. Nobody, man. Now you're gonna have martyrs in this truth that's gonna die for Yahweh by Shimei was shot, but everybody else ain't dying, you know what I'm saying? Innocent. They want nothing innocent about them, man. Read on. Mm -hmm. It says, or were, or where right. were the righteous cut off? Right. So the, the righteous is going to endure it to the end. Like I said before, you're going to have martyrs. You know what I'm saying? It's going to put their life on the line for Yahweh, but Shemel and they're going to lose their life. But they still, it's still a win-win situation, though. You know? The Lord's still going to raise you up in the end, man. You know? And you're going to rule with the Lord. So let's um, bring what you got, what, you, what your brother's holding. What you got? I got um. It's in Second Corinthians chapter five, verse eleven. Right. Knowing therefore, yep. the terror of the Lord. Right. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. We persuade men. And you see the terror of the Lord each and every day. Soon you go out your house and you see something's happening, man. You turn on the news. You see the you you see the terror of the Lord, man, going throughout the four corners of the earth. The mudslides, the volcanoes, the forest fires, the gun shootings. You know. The ICBM missiles being launched from one end of the earth to the other, man. Okay? The typhoons, the whirlwinds, the tornadoes. You name it, man. That's the terror of the Lord, man. And, and, and us knowing that, we persuade men. We threaten our people with the words of the Bible, man. We tell them either get right or die, man. Get right or die, man. You know? It ain't no, it ain't no gray areas, man. You know? It's either get right or die, man. What you got, bro? That was it on that? No. Go ahead. But it says, but you still we, holding Deuteronomy, mm -hmm. um, thirty-two and thirty-nine. Right. Go ahead. But we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. Right. So go ahead. This is Deuteronomy chapter thirty-two, verse thirty-nine. Right. Well, you can bring out that Isaiah since you're already holding it. Thirteen. Right. Start it on. Start at nine, and then jump to eleven. Right. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter thirteen, verse nine. Right. Brothers, yeah. brothers putting up putting up a whole lot of banging scriptures too. Keep that fire coming. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 9. Right. Behold, the day of your house coming. Right. Cruel. Right. See the Lord, He's coming cruel, man. You have Bashim Al Shah ain't coming with a smile on his face. You have Bashim Al Shah say he coming cruel. Go ahead. Both with wrath. Both with wrath. Go ahead. And fierce anger. And fierce anger. See, the Lord ain't just coming angry. He coming with fierce anger, man. Go ahead. To to lay the land. No, nah, nah, the Lord coming peaceful, bro. The Lord coming with hugs, kisses, juju beans, snicker bars. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cupcakes. You know what I'm saying? Um, movie tickets. You know what I'm saying? All that, right? Cruel. The Lord coming cruel, man. Both with wrath and fierce anger. Right. To lay the land desolate. So the Lord coming back to lay America desolate, man. And the word desolate means uninhabited. The Lord ain't no ain't no human inhabiting America when those missiles hit this place. And when those I when those um chariots, you know what I'm saying, shoot the laser beams on this place, man. Ain't no more humans going ain't nobody ain't somebody gonna crawl up under a rock or come up out of a um a bunker shelter hmm. when when the Lord demolish America. No, man. That ain't happening, man. The Lord said he coming to lay this land called America desolate. This wicked land called America. You know what I'm saying? He's coming to lay it desolate, man. 
This land is defiled, man. The so-called white man defiled this land. Two-thirds defiled this land, man. So the Lord got to come back and put fire to it. And, and this is going to be a memorial of, of how not to live. That's it? A little bit more. Go ahead. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Right. Two-thirds, y'all done. Now jump down to verse 11. Verse 11. Right. And I will punish the world for their evil. Right. And Yahweh Bashamel Shah said he's going to punish the world for their evil. And that's what you see going on right about now. Yahweh Bashamel Shah is punishing these wicked people, man, for the evil that they're doing, man. Straight up, man. Them kids that got killed, they was eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? They, they was loving homosexuals. You know what I'm saying? Sodomites. They ain't had nothing to say about people committing bestiality. You know? They ain't believe that the Lord was a so called black man. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord had to take them out, man, for their wickedness, man. The Lord had to punish them, man. And, and some of them got their whole head blasted off. That's the Lord punishing you, man. Go ahead. And I will punish the world for their evil. Right. And the wicked. So it ain't going to only be the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Shah. He's not going to only judge America. He's going to judge throughout the four corners of the earth. Everybody's going to get their just due, man. Everybody will be judged by your how by Shemiah Shai, either for the good that you're doing or the wickedness that you're doing. Everyone's going to get a reward, man. All right? And, and it's just true. <laughs> it's just true. That's it on that, bro. Just a little bit more. Go ahead. And the wicked for their iniquity. Right. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. Right. So sooner or later, you know what I'm saying, these Rothschilds, these Gettys, these Bloombergs, your how by Shemiah Shai is going to start jacking them up, man. And plus, he already is. There ain't no telling what kind of health conditions they got. You know? You have Bashim al say he's going to punish these people for their wickedness, man. He's going to really get it, man. Um, bring me um, Amos. There was it on that, right, bro? And I will lay the... the it's lucky. And I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Right. Meaning the Edomites, man. They the most proudest people on the planet of the earth. You have Bashim al is going to lay you Edomites down too, man. You know? And two-thirds, man. Get um get Amos three and six, bro. This is Amos chapter three verse six. What you hold? Um, give me um that too, so rock eleven and fourteen. Yeah, bring me that, bro. This is Amos chapter three verse six. Right. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? Right. And the people not be afraid? Right. Shall there be evil in a city? Right. And the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, have not done it. See, the evil meaning the bad times that's going on in all these major cities, the small little country towns and all that. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah is the one that's bringing it, man. Evil meaning bad times. Everything that you see going on throughout the four corners of the earth, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah is bringing it, man. It's not, it's not a coincidence that all these things are happening. We're at the end of this thing, man. I'm going to bring this right quick. This is our second Ezra. Chapter 15, verse 49. I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence, to waste thy houses with destruction and death. And that's what's coming, man. And that's what's here. Poverty, death, plagues, I mean enough diseases. You know, widowhood, a whole lot of women, uh, men uh, and husbands about to get put to death, you know. And can't nobody stop it, man. Can't nobody stop it, man. You know? Can't nobody stop it. I had something else, too. But read what you got, bro. Either one of y'all. Just, just bring it out. This is Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. Mm -hmm. Right. For behold, Yahweh will come with fire. Right. And with his chariots like a whirlwind. Right. And that's what the Lord doing. That's what the Lord is going to do. You know what I'm saying? He's going to come with that fire, meaning those ICBM missiles. He's going to come with the chariots, shooting laser beams. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. Right. For behold, Yahweh will come with fire, and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger. Right. With fury. Right. And his rebuke with flames of fire. So the Lord, when he comes back, he's coming back pissed off, man, and angry, man, and really upset, man. And he's going to rebuke you with flames of fire. Go ahead. Verse 16. For by fire and by his sword will Yahweh plead with all flesh. And guess what? What if some don't believe? We don't care if you don't believe. 
We, we thankful to you have by Shemel Shai. He's put his spirit on us to get right and to fear them, man. You know? What did it say, bro? And the slain of Yahweh shall be many. That's why the Lord is killing everybody, man. That ain't right. And, it's, and he's going to do more killing when he come, man, to those that ain't right. And I got another precept. This is 2 Ezra chapter 15 still. In the 15th chapter, verse 26. For the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, knoweth all them that sin against him. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai know all the lawbreakers, man. He know all the ones that's coming up against the words of the Bible, man. He know all of, all of them, right? And therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction, man. You lawbreakers, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans is breaking the laws of the Bible. You have by Shemel Shai know who you are, man. So you're not going to escape, man. So guess what? He's going to deliver you up unto death and destruction, man. It's, it's going to get bad, man. We ain't seeing nothing. It's going to get real bad. That's why you have by Shemel Shai is building up our spirit now to, to be cold in them days. To, to not give a damn when we see a whole lot of people dead. Guess what? When we start seeing these people die, we don't give a damn. All right? And that's the spirit you have about Shemel Shai is putting on his men to not give a damn. Starting off with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, they ain't, they, um, they ain't gave a damn in a long time. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. You know? And now you have about Shemel Shai is putting the spirit on us to not give a damn about two-thirds all you heathens, man. When you die death. The, the incident that came up on Florida, we don't give a damn about that. You know? We don't care about some kids that got killed at a school, man. We care about the will of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. He delivered them up into death and destruction, man. He said, shall there be evil in a city and he have not done it? The Lord did that, man. What y'all brothers got? Uh, I Bring it out, brother. This is 2nd Edris, chapter 7, verse 20. Right. For there be many that perish in this life. Right. For there be many that perish in this life, this generation. Go ahead. Because they despised the law of the Most High that right. is set before them. They hated the words of Yahweh by Shem Shai. That's why a whole lot of people are going to die. Go ahead. For the Most High have given straight commandment right. to such as came. Go ahead. What they should do to live. And it's talking about you Israelites. Go ahead. Even as they came and what they should observe to avoid punishment. Right. And... and one thing about Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they love to get punished, man. Two-thirds, you know, they love to get punished, man. You know? And, and they ain't seen the punishment that's coming, man. The punishment that's coming re re requires your life, you know? It requires your life. It's not going to be a slap on the wrist. It's not going to be a slap on the butt on the rear. You know what I'm saying? Keep it PG, right? On the rear, you know? No, it's going to be your life, man, okay? That's what it's going to take. Your life will be required, man. Okay? What you brothers got? Bring it. Mm -hmm. This is Proverbs chapter 13, verse 13. Right. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. And we're giving Nick Rose, Latinos, and Edward McInnes warning from your how about Shemel Shai. You despise these words, you hate the words of the Bible, you will be destroyed, man. Okay? You will be destroyed. Go ahead. But he that feareth. And then, you know what I'm saying, um, somebody, um, I mean, we're holding a lot on. Somebody hold me, um, second area we started, the 15th chapter. Mm -hmm. Let's bring that Deuteronomy 32 and 39 first, though. Finish what you got, bro. But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Right. And then somebody hold me that Sirach, um 11 and 14. Okay, that right here. Let's get that then. So sure already got it. Let's get that. This is Sirach, chapter 11, verse 14. Right. Prosperity and adversity Life and death, right? Poverty and riches, right? Come of Yahweh. So all these things that we just named come of Yahweh. But Shem Yahweh Shai, man, prosperity, meaning you um you got some things on the earth, you know what I'm saying? Adversity, meaning you catch a per hell. Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh Shai is bringing in your way. What else did it say, bro? Life and death. Life and death. You living. It's because of Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh Shai. You dead. It's because of Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. Poverty and riches. Poverty, you a bum on the streets? It's because of Yahweh by Shemuel Shad. You got some riches, some shekels? It's because of Yahweh by Shemuel Shad. Nothing else, man. All right? Nothing else. 
That's it. Come of Yahweh. Come of Yahweh. Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right? You're not getting nothing on your own. It ain't because you're a hard worker. That's why you got enough money. You know? Mm. Um, you're a bum on the streets because you didn't get the proper education. No. All that is happening by where Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? So bring me, um, and I want, um, I want Psalms 68 and 22, bro. All right. Bring me that Deuteronomy first, though. This is Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. Right. See now that I, even I, am he. Right. This is the Most High Yahweh speaking. Go ahead. And there is no power with me. Ain't no Buddha ain't sitting up in the heavens. Allah is not sitting up in the heavens. That's why people praise, man. And then they wonder why why Allah and Buddha and the rest of those pagan gods mm. don't protect them when all hell break loose, man. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, man. Call ye upon him while he is near. Go ahead. I kill. See, Yahweh Bashimel Shah kills, man. And I make alive. And he keeps you alive, man. Why are we sitting right here? Because Yahweh Bashimel Shah kept us alive to do this lesson, you know? To push forth this word. That's it. I wound. Right. And I heal. You have Bashim al Shah. He wounds you and he heals you, man. Go ahead. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. When you have Bashim al Shah wants you, he going to get you. Because why? Can't nobody go against our power. Can't nobody deliver you from the hands of you have Bashim al Shah, man. Nobody, man. Nobody. And if you think somebody can, then you show me him. Show me somebody. Mm -hmm. You know? Show me somebody. And that eater might look bugged the hell out. You know what I'm saying? They killed no people, man. Um, spirits created for vengeance. Give me that Psalm 68 right quick at 20. This is Psalms chapter 68, verse 20. Right. He that is our power. Right. Hey, look. He that is our power, pursuant to um, Joel uh, 2 and 27, Yahweh Bashim El Shai is our power. Go ahead. Is the power of salvation. Our power is the power of salvation. The only entity that's going to save you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and you confusion of faces, which are Israelites, is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Our power is the power of salvation. When is that going to get through you, rock headed, block headed, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man? That's your only um, way of salvation, is seeking Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Go ahead. It says, and unto the Most High, the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, belong the issues from death. Right. So no matter that that was one of the issues from death, them children get blasted down at school. <laughs> that was one of the issues of death, man. The Lord can either have somebody gun your ass down, stab you up, strangle you, smother you, burn you, run you over with a car, drown you, <laughs> strike you down with lightning, you know. On and on and on and on, man. Infinite ways that Yahweh Bashim El Shai can kill you people, man. And, and, and people already found it out the hard way, you know? And they found it out the hard As we speak and do this video right here, Yahweh Bashim El Shai is killing somebody right now. Right now. Yahweh Bashim El Shai is putting somebody to death for being wicked, right? Right now. As we speak, Yahweh Bashim El Shai is putting somebody to death right now. But you got Nick Rose, Latinos, and Native American Indians still milking the clock. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Still milking the clock, man. Mm. Your how about your shot is going to get you, man, if you don't repent, man. What you got, bro? That's it on that? Yeah, that's it on that. What you got, um, Nicole? Spirit's creative revenge. Yeah. Yep. This is a rock, chapter 39, verse 28. Right. There be spirits mm. that are created for vengeance. Jeffrey Dahmer, son of Sam. Who else, bro? I know you Ted, know. Texas, uh, Texas Ted, Ted, Bu Ted Bundy. Ted the Bundy. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yep. You know. Jeepers Creepers. Jeepers Creepers. Now what's the guy? Uh, 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 Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper. <laughs> what, dude, what's that? I named the dude that just died, didn't I? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Charles Manson. Yeah, Charles Manson. Yeah, Charles Manson. Those are spirits. Look, the dude, you know what I'm saying, shot up those people in uh, Florida. Spirits created for vengeance, man. Okay? Um, What's the old boy, you know what I'm saying, that led Jake over there to Africa? Know Jim, what I'm Jones. Yeah. Jim Jones, <laughs> you know, spirits created for vengeance, man. You have about your mouth shut, so he got spirits created for vengeance, man. You know, go ahead. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, right? Which in their fury lay on sore strokes, right? In the time of destruction, they pour out their force, 
That force. Right. And a pit and a pence. A piece. A piece, a piece I like it. A piece. The wrath of him that made them. Right. So when these spirits crave for vengeance go out and they do their thing thing, they pleasing you how about Shimmy I was shy, man. When these spirits of vengeance go out and start killing people left and right, you know your how about Shimmy Shah is happy with that, man. You know? Just like your how about Shimmy Shah is happy with us pushing forth this word. You know? Look, you do what you're told, hey, and you get to live. You know what I'm saying? And, and that puts your how that puts a smile on your how about Shimmy Shah's face, man. You go out and do what you're commanded to do, you get to live. Go ahead. Some more to that. Yes, some more to that. Hold it. I always hold it, brother. I always hold it. I want to get that. You do what it's coming. Look, what it's going to say. Obey and you shall live, right? Mm -hmm. Obey and ye shall live, man. Mm -hmm. Look, don't obey and ye shall die, you know? Verse 29. Fire and hell and famine. Hey, look, that fire. Hell means destruction. So the forest fires, you see people getting killed in these house fires and these forest fires. Those are spirits created for vengeance, man. But your how about Shimmy I was shy, man. Go ahead. Is that hell? Mm -hmm. you, those hell storms. When you see those hell storms, you know what I'm saying, about the size of um, golf balls, just landing down on people, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You see lightning and all that. All those are spirits created for vengeance, man. Go ahead. And famine. And famine. Famine is a spirit created for vengeance. And our people get caught dead up in it, man. You have a bunch of me out shot. Brock a thought to all the Akims tuning in, man. You know? This ain't the time to be playing around. You have a bunch of me out shot. Kill. You see the title? The Lord had us put that title, name this video that, man. You see the title? You have a bunch of me out shot. Killing people left and right, man. Each and every second of the day, you have a bunch of me out shot. It's killing niggas, man. And when we say niggas, we mean Negroes, Latinos, and natives, and you heathens, man. You know? Ain't nobody escaping the judgment of your how about Shimei was shy, man. What you got, bro? That's it on that? And death. Look, look. And death is one of those spirits created for vengeance. And you know death is always lurking. You know what I'm saying? You know, death ain't never satisfied. Or the grave ain't, like the spirit say, the grave is never satisfied. Death is never satisfied. You know? Go ahead. All of these were created for vengeance. All these, all the things that we just read was created for vengeance, man. Vengeance. That's it. Uh, yeah. Bring it out, brother. All right. Bring it out. This is um Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 2. Right. And it shall come to pass. Right. If they say unto thee, whither yeah, shall... Hold that second. It was 15. It started 1, 2. Go ahead. Whither shall we go forth? Right. Then... Thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Right. Such as are for death to death. One of them spirits, a whole lot of people going to die. Go ahead. And such as are for the sword to the sword. Sword represents death and destruction. A whole lot of people going to die by way of those Gurga troops. You know what I'm saying? The malicious. When that race riot pop off, a whole lot of these Edomites going to be killing the hell out of Jake. Jake just don't know, man. You better get the protection and fall up under the wings of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's your only protection, man. Other than that, you're going to die a horrible death, man. Go ahead. And such as for the famine, to the famine. And look, and um, get that get that in lamentation right quick. Yeah. How, what it tells you, you know what I'm saying, about the famine. What is it, 4 and 17? Yeah. yeah, get that right quick. Or, or is it 4 and 9? 4 and 9. Yeah, 4 and 9. Get that. It said, you know what I'm saying, the majority of our people are going to die by way of the famine. Bring it out. This is Lamentations chapter 4 verse 9. Right. They that be slain with the sword. Look, which is coming. A whole lot of people going to die by way of the sword. Which is any killing instrument. A whole lot of people going to get hung and lynched again, man. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Are better than they that be slain with hunger. And look, the people that you do <laughs> see get blasted their head off. Like the people that got killed in that school. <laughs> they better off than a guy that died by way of famine, man. A guy that died by way of starvation, you know what I'm saying? He's worse than the people that just got their, their asses handed to him, man, when they got blasted, man. You have about Shimmy I was shot, block a thumb. You know what I'm saying? Block a thought to the brother in the quam. You know what I'm saying? Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, bro. Go ahead. For these pine away. For these pine away, meaning your body. Your body start eating itself, man. And somebody right now starving their tail off right now, sitting in the corner somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Holding their reels, bro. With, it, with their body eating itself from the inside, man. These pine away. Go ahead. 
stricken through for one of the fruits of the field. That's why you see more robberies happening right about now, more killings. You know what I'm saying? More uprising of the people, more commotions. Because we're at the end of this thing, man. We're at the end of this thing. Go ahead. Verse 10. That's it. That's it on that. Give me, um, after you finish what you're getting ready to read, mm -hmm. give me, um, can you still read Spirit's Spirit of Events? Oh, you finished that? Mm -hmm. Well, hold that right there. Give me St. Luke uh, 12. Come on, give me that. What you holding? I'm still holding the uh, Jeremiah. Oh, you still reading Jeremiah? Yeah, well, man. finish reading Jeremiah, but you can hold me St. Luke 12. I want verse 49 yeah. and verse 51. I got it right. Here. You already got it? Yeah. Go ahead then. You want to go ahead and read it? Yeah. All right. This is St. Luke chapter 12, verse 49. Right. I am come to send fire on the earth. Right. Yahweh Bashman, this is Lord Yahweh Shai, man. He said he's coming to bring fire upon the earth. Go ahead. And what will I? If it already be killed. When the Lord come back, you know what I'm saying, to bring fire upon the earth, America's going to be already on fire, man, from the race riots, you know, from all hell breaking loose. America's going to be already on fire, man. Different forest fires, all that, man. Yep. And the Lord said, what will I if it already be kindled? Lord, like, yo, what am I going to do if America's already on fire? I'm going to put more fire on it, you know? <laughs> I'm going to come with more fire. Go ahead. But I have, but I have a baptism. No, nah, no, nah, I said forty nine and fifty one. Oh, it's like, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Suppose ye that I come to give peace on earth. Right. I tell you nay. Right. And no peace is coming. Once again, America has seen its peaceful days, man. It's a wrap for this place called America. If you still putting your trust in America and you ain't watching the news and actually seeing what's going on, you done, man. You know what I'm saying you cooked meat in that day. You know what I'm saying? You fool for the missiles, man. You missile fool, man. You missile fool. Read 51 again. Mm -hmm. It says, suppose ye that I come to give peace on earth. Right. I tell you nay. Right. But rather division. So peace ain't coming. Nothing but division is coming. Meaning ain't nobody going to get along here in America except for the elect of the nation of Israel. Ain't nobody else getting along, man. Everybody else going to be at each other next, man. So you can finish that Jeremiah now. Mm -hmm. It says, what you, what you holding, bro? Just that second Ezra 15. And, and nothing else? Mm -hmm. That's the only one you holding? God. Go ahead, bro. Mm -hmm. It says, um, and such as for... Call him and read it, bro. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 2. Right. And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? And you hold me Jeremiah 8 and 11. Go ahead. Then thou shalt tell them. Right. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Our people didn't want to get two-thirds of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they didn't want to receive the words of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, right? So the Lord told us to tell them to get the hell on. You know what I'm saying? Get the hell on. Go defend for your own self. You didn't want to hear the words of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Get the hell on. Go ahead, bro. And, then, and look, two, first thing two-thirds say, well, where are we going to go? You know what I'm saying? You look, y'all don't want us around, y'all. Well, look, where are we going to go? Right. So what did the Lord say, bro? And the Quran put up some. He said. He put up 2nd Ezra, I think, 16. It's about to pop up again. Read that, bro. It says, whither shall we go forth? Right. Then thou shalt tell them, thus saith the Lord, Yahabashem, Yahabashem. Right. Such as are for death. To death. Right. Go, and, look, go somewhere and die. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, what, that's what the elect of the nation of Israel going to tell two-thirds that didn't want to receive the words of Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai. We're going to say, go somewhere and die, man. Okay? Go ahead. And such as are for the sword to the sword. Right. And such as are for the famine to the famine. Right. Go somewhere and die by way of starvation. Go ahead. And such as are for the captivity to the captivity. Yeah, two thirds are gonna get thrown in the concentration camps, you know, and you're gonna die a horrible death up in there. They're gonna um, they're gonna torture you up in there, man. Since you ain't wanna take heed to the words you have about Shemuel Shai, two thirds y'all gonna be tortured in those concentration camps, man. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna die by way of starvation. Y'all gonna get shot out here. Y'all gonna get lynched out here. Somebody gonna put y'all on fire. All that, man. Oh, yeah, 2 um, Timothy 3 and 5, I think that was. 2 Timothy 3 and 5. 
Cause you only holding one scripture, right? Yeah. You get it, you get it in. Oh, you holding that Jeremiah still? Mm -hmm. Well, hold, hold Jeremiah still. You know what I'm saying? If you just put that in your lap or something, you know what I'm saying? Hold that Jeremiah 8 and 11. Okay. You know, and then get that right quick before I forget what scripture was. 2 Timothy 3 and 5. Yeah. Okay, I got that. Did you finish what you had? No, no, I didn't. Finish what you had first, and then you, can, then you can come out with that. Finish what you had first, that Jeremiah, though. Okay. Yeah, finish that says, Jeremiah out. And it says, and I will point, oh, this is Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 3. Right. And I will point over them four kinds. Right. Saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. That's right. The sword to slay. Right. It's like it. And the dogs to tear. So you ain't seen nothing yet, man. You think our people are really dying? You think Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and these heathens are catching hell? You ain't seen nothing yet, man. You think it's a horrible way to die when you see them getting shot, right? You think it's a horrible way to die when you see them caught up in forest fires or a car accident and things of that nature? You get ready to start seeing people get ate by animals, man. Literally, outside your front door, you have a bunch of people going to have these animals start eating these people, man. Straight up and down, start eating these people, man. That's what you have about Shemel Shah is going to do to you knuckleheads, man. He's going to have these animals start eating you alive, man. Uh, the brother of uh, GMS Patience of the Saints put up um, Wisdom of Solomon 11 and 1. Mm -hmm. Finish reading that. That's it on that, bro? No, no, no. It says, and the fowls of the heaven. And look, birds going to be eating our people. Man, it's gonna get. That's how you know it's gonna get real bad out here, man. And at the same time, you got Donald Trump. You know what I'm saying, coming on the news, talking about America needs to be a better place. Mm -hmm. When they shall say peace and safety, sudden destruction coming upon them, man, as travail upon a woman with child, and none shall escape. Just like that woman can't take that baby and push it back up in her, like, eh? you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna be able to get away from the death and destruction that's gonna befall America, man. You will not escape, man. Go ahead. Is, and the beasts of the earth. Right. Wild beasts, lions, tigers, bears, oh my. You know what I'm saying? It's going to get our people, man. Straight up, man. You know? Go ahead. It. Let's sit on that, man. To devour and destroy. Right. To devour and destroy. So we ain't seen nothing yet. You see a couple of kids die in school. Man, that ain't nothing, man, compared to what's coming, man. Yeah, how about you going to have these zoo animals break loose and start eating these people? Birds going to be pecking our people, eyeballs out. You know what I'm saying? It's going to get bad out here, man. And it's going to be every man for himself in that day. Then we're going to see everybody talk about love, love, show some love in that day. When all hell break loose, let's see who's talking about showing love in that day, man. Ain't going to be no love, man. Ain't going to be no love in that day. What y'all got, bros? Yeah, bring that, bro. This is Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 11. Right. For they have healed the hurt of the daughters of my people. Right. Yeah, these false leaders, these church pastors, they have healed the hurt of our people slightly. Go ahead. Saying peace, peace, when there is no peace. Right. All hell breaking loose, but then you still got people coming on TV talking about America's going to be great again. You know what I'm saying? No, America's going to be destroyed. That's what's going to happen to America. America's going to be destroyed. America's not going to be great again, man. It won't never great. America was founded on rape, robbery, and murder. So that's the way it's going to go out, man. You know what I'm saying? In the in worst way, man. In the worst way. Niggas still talking about they African and all this nonsense, man. What y'all brothers got? That wisdom of Southern Island, that, that was the wrong one. Bring what you got, bro. I know you got. I know you cooking something over there. I'm trying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you ain't got nothing, get Second Ezra the 15th chapter. Okay. Why you think? You know what I'm saying? Nakam can. Nakam can get it. Okay. On oh, verse one. Yeah. All right. This is Second Ezra chapter 15 verse one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're speaking in the ears of our people. He said, "Wisdom of Solomon, um, 11 and 17." Okay. okay. Speak down in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. If somebody can hold me um, Isaiah 34. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hold me there because we're going to read Isaiah 34 right after this right here. Go ahead. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Meaning we letting you know, we letting you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians know things that's going to happen before it happens. We speaking unto you the prophecies of the Bible, man. Go ahead. Which I will put in thy mouth, right. says Jehovah. That's right. The Lord put his words in our mouth when we speak in it. Go ahead. Verse 2. And cause them to be written in paper. And they're written in paper. You see it right there. Written in paper. Go ahead. 
for they are faithful and true. And these words are faithful and true. If you don't believe in the words that you have by Shemel Shai, then that's on you, man. That's on you. We can't help that. Go ahead. Verse 3. Fear not the imagination against thee. We don't worry about what people say about us. We see you have by Shemel Shai killing a whole lot of people. We see this word going forth. My word should not go out void. You know? Pursuant to um, Isaiah 55 and 11. You have about Shemel Shai words are not going out void. He said he's going to kill a whole lot of people in the times that we're living in. They doing exactly what they said they was going to do, man. Go ahead. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. Right. The people, the unbelief. The majority of our people, they don't believe in the Bible. We don't give a damn, man. We don't let that bother us, man. Once again, you how about Shemel Shai is showing forth his word. Every time we turn on the news, every time we go out the door. We see judgment, man. We see judgment. Go ahead. That speak against thee. Right. Verse 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Right. All the ones of our people that don't got faith in these words shall die real soon. Go ahead. Verse 5. Behold, says Yahweh, I will bring plague, plague upon the world. And you see that. You know what I'm saying? Enough diseases. Damn near everybody dying by way of that flu now. And you got Negroes, Latins, and Natives going to get a flu shot. When, it, when the flu shot is the flu. Simple, man. The simple believe of every word, man. You know what I'm saying? They ain't taking heed that you have about Shem Yahweh shot. You know? But he said he's going to bring plagues on the earth. He's going to uh, have it to where the so-called white man is going to let loose uh, that biological warfare, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's going to damn near kill everybody. Yeah, those pestilence, man. Go ahead. The sword. The sword. Definite structure. That's what you have about Shem Yahweh shot is bringing. Famine. Famine. You know what I'm saying? Lack of food. Go ahead. Death. Look, enough death. And you see that going, but you it's going to be enough death out here, man. Go ahead. And destruction. And destruction. That's what's coming. Death and destruction. You know? Let's sit on that, bro. Verse 6. For wickedness have essentially polluted the whole earth. Yeah, because wickedness, because the so-called white man is ruling, and they are the wicked. So wickedness has essentially polluted the whole earth, man. That's why nobody ain't fearing you how about Shemel Shai. Even though you see all these people dying on the news every day. You you see the you read the newspaper, you hear about all kind of people dying, but ain't nobody fearing you how about Shemel Shai. Why? Because wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. So the only thing these people think about is doing wicked acts, man. But it, it will catch up to you, you know? And the hurtful works are fulfilled. Right. And the hurtful works of the so-called white man has been fulfilled, man. Now, now it's time for Yahweh, Bashim Yahushua, to stand up and do his thing now. And take control of the, over the whole scene, which they was doing anyway. You know? Man goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own ways? Yahweh, Bashim Yahushua, was already controlling the scene anyway. You know? They was controlling the so-called white man to do what he doing. You know what I'm saying? M.K. Ultra. You know, you see that dude, you know what I'm saying, that killed those students in school? That man was up on the mind control. You see how bugged out his eyes was? Along with those other people that the so-called white man put up to kill certain people. But it was all spirits created for vengeance for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's purpose. Never forget that. I think that's it on that. Yeah. What you got, bro? Isaiah 34, 16. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Right. Seek ye. Out of the book. And then somebody hold me Isaiah 55 and 6. I'm going to read it down a little bit. Get, stay where you at, though. Okay. You get in the calm. Okay. It says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, and read. And the book of the Lord is this Bible. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Okay? Go ahead. <laughs> Right. No, it didn't say seek out the book of the dead. Speak up, bro. <laughs> no, it don't say seek out of the book of the dead. Right. Or seek out of the Quran. Or seek out of the final call. Right. It says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Right. Read and read. And, and read. <laughs> Meaning, when you read, when you pick up this book and you read it, blesses the man that get of understanding of what he's reading, man. Okay? Go ahead. No one of these. Shall fail. Meaning the prophecies. The prophecies in this Bible ain't going to fail. The Lord said he's going to start killing a whole lot of people. That's coming to pass. That's prophecy, man. Before things spring forth, we tell you of it, man. Pursuing the Isaiah 42 and um and 9. Cunt. Before, before a whole lot of people start getting judged on the planet Earth, you got the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and the men on down telling you about it, man. 
You know, you're getting it straight from your house by Shimmy Awashai through his service, man. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. It says, none shall want her mate. Right. Meaning, the Bible stands alone. Okay? Go ahead. For my mouth, it has commanded. Did anybody ever get that Psalm 68 and 20? Yeah, we read that. We read that? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, cool. Go ahead. None shall want her mate. What, bro? And his spirit, it has gathered them. Right. Some more to that, ain't it? That's it. That's it on that? Yeah. Right. So none shall want her mate. Get um get Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. Cause we coming in the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei was shot. And we prophesying, man. A famine is coming here, a plague is coming here, race riots are coming, more people gonna die. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you better seek your power, man. Matter of fact, before you get that, get that. Yeah, read that Isaiah, bro. This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. And then hold me um, e um Ezekiel 3 and 17, bro. This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. Right. Seek ye Yahweh while he may be found. Right. Seek the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemel Shah, while they may be found. Why the men of the Lord decide they're teaching the truth according to the Bible are still out there on the highways and byways. You need to be seeking your how about Shemel Shah, man. Front and center, man. With your Bible, with a notepad, and a pencil. Taking notes, man. Getting yourself right with your how about Shemel Shah. Don't come out there without a notebook. With your hands in your pocket. Don't you do it. Don't you do it, man. You know? You got our people, yeah, man, where y'all gonna be at, man? Y'all gonna, gonna be on such and such street? And then they come out there, you know what I'm saying? With no notebook, no Bible, you know what I'm saying? They come out there with some snicker bars, you know what I'm saying? And some chips and all that. No, man. <laughs> come out there with your Bible, come out there with your notebook pad, and come out there with your pencil, front and center, and take notes, man. And shut your damn mouth. Shut your damn mouth. You know what I'm saying? Shouldn't have nothing to say. One thing you need to be doing is listening, man. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, man. People gonna go crazy soon come when the men of the Lord are not out there on the highways and byways, man. Um, I didn't even see what scripture that was. Go ahead, though. Call upon ye, call upon him while he is near. Right, and how you gonna call on the name of the Lord, you know what I'm saying, if you haven't been taught it? The men out there on the highways and byways are teaching you the name of Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. That's how you're going to know how to call on the name of the Lord. We're going to teach you, man. Go ahead. Well, verse 7. Yeah, read on down. Let the wicked forsake his way. Let the wicked, meaning you two-thirds, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you Israelites, forsake your wicked ways, man. Or, look, or die, man. Or die, man. Go ahead. And let the unrighteous man his thoughts. Right. Anything wicked that you're thinking about, man, look, forget all that nonsense. Go ahead. Like the brother said, repent. Turn back to your house by Shemel Shire sorrowful, man. You know? Go ahead. And let him return unto your house, and he will have mercy upon him. Right. Turn back and repent to your house by Shemel Shire, and he will have mercy on you. The only entity that's going to show us mercy is your house by Shemel Shire, man. Okay? Look, um, listening to the so-called white man is going to get you killed. <laughs> listening to your woman is going to get you killed. Listening to your family is going to get you killed, man. Turn from your wickedness, man. Oh, baby, you, you know you got to buy me something for Valentine's Day. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Christmas coming up. I need them, I need them, um, them, um, what's that, Sagettis? What do um, Polite have on? Them, um, Giuseppe's? Shit, Giuseppe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Listening to your family is going to get you killed, man. Promoting that nonsense that they, uh, they into, man. Turn from your wickedness, man. Go ahead. And to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. Right. Meaning you turn back from your wickedness and start serving your how about Shemel Shai. Hey, he's going to forgive you for the things that you did, man. Okay? He's going to forgive you for your sins. But if you don't, you done in that day, man. That's it, bro. Okay. Bring what you got, Con. Mm -hmm. This is Revelation chapter 19, verse 11. Right. And I saw heaven open. 19 to 10, bro. Yes. Go ahead. This is uh, this is Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. Right. And I fell at his feet to worship him. Go ahead. And he said unto me, See thou, do it not. Right. I am thy fellow servant. That's right. And of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh. Go ahead. Worship the Most High. For the testimony of Yahweh 
is the spirit of prophecy. Right. For the testimony of Lord Yahweh Shah, who they even call Jesus Christ, are the words of prophecy. And that's what we do. We tell our people things are going to happen before they happen, man. Before it happened, we tell our people, man. Okay? That's it on that, bro? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much it on that. What else y'all got? You got anything, Khan? Yeah, let me look right quick. Let me see what this precept is. Let me see. Yeah, we yeah yeah we got we got enough scriptures coming out now. We got enough scriptures. Guess what? We just bring them out. Give me um, give me Second Ezra chapter nine. Mm -hmm. Second Ezra. Here we go. Verse one. Start at one. This is Second Ezra chapter nine, verse one. He answered, "Then he so lucky. He answered me then, and said, Measure thou the times diligently.' Right. In itself." And when thou seest part of the signs past, right. which I have told thee before, then then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he so like which he made. Right, and you see those things happening right about now, right? That lets us know that the Lord, you know, saying is is our salvation is nearer than what we believe, man. The Lord said when we start to see these signs, the uprising of the people, the famines, the earthquakes in diverse places, the wars and rumors of wars, massive people dying, you have a bunch of say, said, yo, I'm, I'm right around the corner from coming. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to be getting yourself right, man, or, or end up on a stretcher. You know what I'm saying? End up on a stretcher then, man. Go ahead. Verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people. Right. In the world, verse four, then shall thou then shall thou will understand that the that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, right? Even from the beginning, right? And, and those those are things exactly the things that we're seeing right about now, man. Famines, earthquakes in diverse places, enough commotions, plagues. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got the flu nowadays. That's how you know we at the end, man. Why? Because wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and you have Bashim al Shah is tired of it now. You know what I'm saying? Really fed up with it. He has let it go on too far, man. You have Bashim al Shah say, enough is enough, man. What verse you at, bro? Five. Hold on, right quick. Speak, hon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Like, you better get right with the Lord right now, man. Repent. Like, softly turn back, man. You know? Cause this this place is this place is out of here, man. Soon come, lots of death is right around the corner. It's here already, you know. But it's gonna be it's gonna be more death. Um, get second Ezra sixteen and like a time never seen before. Seventeen, you know. Oh yeah, you can get um, uh, with Daniel's. Ten, yeah, ten, yeah. yeah ten, and that Daniel's Daniel's twelve. Twelve and ten. I think. Nah, twelve, 12 and one. Twelve and one. Sorry. Yeah. Bring that, bro. I got it. Now let him bring this right okay. quick. This is 2 Edris, chapter 16, verse 17. Right. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? When I, and Ezra is talking about when all hell break loose. Woe is me. Death and destruction. Death and destruction. Death and destruction is me. If nobody don't deliver me and the day that's coming, man. The day that our people think that it ain't coming. You know? The day that our people think ain't coming. And if they do think it's coming, they think it's so far off, they're not going to be alive to see it. Yes, you are, man. You have a bunch of mouth shot, they're going to keep you alive to see that day, man. Go ahead. Because Ezra seen the vision, man. He was given a vision of what's going on right now, man. That's why he says, woe is me, man. Go ahead. Verse 18. The beginnings. Of sorrow. Right. And great mornings. Right. And that's what you're getting ready to see. You know what I'm saying? We're in the beginning stages of great sorrows. Enough mornings, man. Sorrows uh, sorrows, and great morning. You ain't seen nothing yet, man. Go ahead. The beginning of famine. Right. And great death. That's right. Famine and great death, man. Great death. Go ahead. The beginning of wars and the powers and the powers shall stand in fear. Right. 
See, see, now it's getting to the point now where the God of the Bible getting ready to scare the hell out of the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Bloombergs, and all them, man. The power's going to stand in fear, man. Okay? Because who's ruling the earth right about now? The so-called white man. Yeah, how about Shemel Shai going, uh, what it say? Terror shall make them afraid. Terrors on, on, on all sides shall make them afraid. Cause, cause then it's gonna get out of it's out of it's gonna get out of their control. See the Rothschilds, they they um making these uh, false flags and all this nonsense happening, you know. But it's getting ready to get to a point to where they're gonna call their friends and be like, yo, did you did you set that off? No, nah, no, nah, I ain't set that off to somebody else. Did you set that off? No, nah, no, nah, I ain't. Did it. I thought you did it. No, nah, I, nah, I thought you did it. Not shit. I thought you did it. Nah, you have but Shmuel Shai did it. Okay, and it's gonna get out of control. You know what I'm saying? To where they're gonna stand in great fear, man. Go ahead. The beginning of evils. Right. What shall I do when these devils shall come? Evils. 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 Yeah. It's like it. Evils. Right. What shall when, I... When, when these bad times come, Ezra is saying, what shall he do? It, it get, when, when he seen his vision, it must have been real bad, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? Real bad, man. He said, "Great morning." Meaning, meaning, er, er, the scripture said, like, uh, like a man was uh, having a baby. His hand was on his loins. Um, Ezra said, um, "Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins?" Because men was acting like they was having babies. They was that scared, man. Go ahead. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Right. Go ahead. And look, and they coming. They here. Go ahead. Verse nineteen. Behold, famine and plague, right. pl plague, tribulation. Mean a whole lot of hell. That's what's coming. Go ahead. Tribulation, right? And anguish. Go ahead. Are seen as are sent. It's like Take it, your time, brother. It's like it. Are sent as scourgers. Scourges. Scourges. Yeah. From four. It's like it. Are sent as scourgers. Right. For a, amendment. Amendment. Go ahead. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. Yeah, you see all these people getting killed, right? Each and every day, man. All these people getting killed. But two-thirds and these heathens, they ain't going to turn from their wickedness, man. Mainly talking to our people. All hell going to be breaking loose. People going to be dying by way of famine. You know what I'm saying? Look, the wars. You know what I'm saying? All kind of evils, all kind of bad things are going to be going on. And two-thirds are going to be still trying to get a blunt. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Two-thirds are still going to be trying to bow down to Allah. You know what I'm saying? And Buddha and all this nonsense, man. Two-thirds are still going to be looking for some crap. Yep. And all hell going to be breaking loose, man. Mm -hmm. Everything that they're going to see happening, they still ain't going to turn from their wickedness, man. You know? Yeah, like like you said, um, like you said uh, this guy from New Orleans told me when they had to... Um, what was that? Uh, that that hurricane? Katrina. Yeah, Katrina. He said some of the people. Uh, he said so many of the homeboys on the roof playing cards. Man. See what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. The city getting flooded in Hurricane Katrina. Guys on the roof playing cards and all that, yeah. man. Now you thinking about calling on your house about shooting out a shot? Nah, they playing spades. They playing spades. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And water rising. Right, and water rising. Jake, man, read that part again, bro. Hmm. Call him and read it. Oh, the come. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 20. Right. But for all these things, they shall not turn away from their wickedness. And we just read in Isaiah 55 and 7. You know what I'm saying? Turn from your wicked ways. Repent and live. All hell breaking loose. And two-thirds ain't even thinking about turning back to your house. About Shemi was shot, man. They really bugged out their minds, man. Go ahead. Nor be always mindful of the scourges. Right. So all hell going to be breaking loose as we see right now. And two-thirds, the only thing they think about is getting high and getting over. You know? And all this other nonsense. Like, like whatever holidays get ready to come next, they're waiting on Easter now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, Saint, oh yeah, St. Patrick's Day. Our people are buying green outfits right now, man. Thinking about, that's what I'm saying, man. Everything that's going on, man. See, Jake just got blasted, you know what I'm saying? Dude shot Jake, you know what I'm saying, through his garage door. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And killed him. The people around him, they ain't thinking about nothing. They kept partying, man. Yeah. Dude died, but the people um, right outside, you know what I'm saying, kept partying, man. Mm -hmm. So for all the things, the evil times is going. Matter of fact, whole um, Amos 9, I think it's 10. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Our people say the evils ain't going to overtake them, nor prevent them from doing their wickedness. Read that one more time, bro. Verse 20. Right. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. Yeah, all hell going to be breaking.